So you may recall in the past I released a video about the unboxing of this and I thought it would bring you more details on how to use this, how to use the app for setup and also how easy it is really to use the Amplify mesh router system. So for those of you who've never been to my channel before, I do tech reviews, gadget reviews, and unboxings of tech that you may use in your everyday life. So if you like this channel, please go check out more of my videos and subscribe to the channel. I'll leave some more details about the Amplify HD mesh router down in the YouTube description below. To me, this is one of the best routers out there that you can buy for your home wireless network and provide awesome coverage across your house. Many of you may be frustrated with the Wi-Fi signal across your house. You may get weak signals back in your bedroom when your router is out in the front room, or maybe you turn on a baby monitor and you get interference from that. You notice that the Wi-Fi signal suffers or maybe you just have a lot of devices on your network and you really suffer from network congestion. If you're just like me, my wife has a phone, I have a phone, we have a smart nest thermostat, I have Roku's, I have tablets, I have my Xbox, TVs, you name it. And all of these are connected at the same time and really put a big strain on our network. So one of the things I did was uh, I contacted Amplify and they were kind enough to send me one of these for a review. So Amplify sent this to me and so within the day I got it, I installed it. I set it up within about 10 minutes myself and was off to the races as far as being able to connect my computer here behind me up, I, I connect my Xbox, connect all my phones, Nest Thermostat, all of that. And so it was really easy setup. And so I'll just show you some of that setup and show you some of the really awesome features that they have within the app, plus just some that they just came out with as well because they're constantly updating the app all right here, so on the app, you just open up your Amplify app and you can download this in the Google Play Store. Once you plug the main router into the wall and then plug at least one of the access points in, you can start seeing that setup through here. So here you can click, you can see on this homepage, you have everything about your settings. So you have settings on each of your access points. So one of your access points, if you want to configure that to be more of the 2.4 gigahertz band and receive a little longer range, but a little less performance, you can do so. But I prefer the five gigahertz band because you're gonna get the most optimum performance out of that. It does have slightly shorter distance, but in the average household, this works quite well for having one in the basement your router in the first floor and say you have a third floor or you have more of a bad back bedroom that you're hard, uh, having a hard time getting coverage to, you can put that other access point back there. Also, you can name these. You can turn on the LEDs. You can turn on system sounds on these. So like myself, I turned off the system sounds for the one in the bedroom. So I, just depending on if you're making uh, updates to these, they'll beep and cause audible alerts, and you don't want that in your bedroom. You can also hit the locate button to locate that access point if you're unsure which one you plugged in which room before you go to name it. You can also reboot the access point directly from the app and also provide yourself with support info if you have to put in a trouble ticket with the Amplify support team. So I suggest setting these both to five gigahertz. That's gonna get your best performance, like I said before. 
So here I can click on my main router and configure things such as the device name, what kind of clock, what my time zone is. When you walk up to the front of it, you can click on the screen and it's going to give you several different screens. So you can see things like a time, you can see your ISP or your internet provider's IP that has been given to you. You can also set it to screens where you can see how much speed you're using currently in real time, either on upload or download, as well as looking up how much data you've used over the last month or so since you've last reset that. So for those of you that have data caps on your home internet plans, you can monitor that very quickly through the front of the router and see what that looks like. And you can reset those on a manual basis once a month if you so choose. Here more into the details of the configuration, you can set night mode, start and end times, and that's going to just basically turn off the screen of the router to not cause any disturbance and also preserve the screen itself. So if you didn't really want this on during the day, you could also set this up where it wasn't on during the day, but maybe it was on at night. You also have the ability to set up static leases here through the DHCP settings. And that's more for if you've got a home computer that you wanna set up with um, remote access and you could, or if you have a web server going on, you could do a static IP so that you could configure the um, port forwarding for that and allow traffic in from the net, in from the internet so you can connect to that. Also right here in the app, you can do in-app upgrades, which allows you to check firmware. So currently my firmware is up to date. And that's it from those settings. Then you can get into your wireless settings. So you can set up your wireless password, whether this is a hidden SSID, what's your guest network, whether you want band steering, router steering, um, separate Wi-Fi SSIDs for your different bands. And also then you can get into the advanced settings here where you can set up auto channeling or whether you want uh, 20, hertz, 20 megahertz or the 20 slash 40s for your 2.4 gigahertz, but also your five gigahertz, you can do 20, 40 and 80 megahertz as well and set up your auto channeling. So then we go into the internet side and you can see here you can set a static IP on your internet side of the router. If you've been given a static IP by your internet service provider or maybe if you're putting this router behind a modem or an internet service provider's router that you can configure static IPs on the internal side of that router and also the outside of this router to configure maybe a DMZ zone or a demilitarized zone if for more advanced network configuration. So that's a lot from the settings side. So here you can go in and look at your current throughput. I'm using up 0.1 to barely nothing on the input, my output, my outbound side. I'm using 81. 0.4 kilobits per second. Obviously nobody else in the house is on the internet at the current moment. But here you can also do ISP test. So you can see that I've done several tests over the last several months here. Another awesome feature is the guest network. So you can set up guest network inside of this app remote. So here's your guest Wi-Fi network settings. You can set up uh, based on your SSID for your guest network. Previously, you can set a max number of guests. You can do multiple um, things by sharing this network out with people. You can start and stop or turn that on all the time. Another really awesome thing is the ability to, to create profiles for different devices. 
So here you can see I made a dad is king with my phone, mommy is queen with my wife's phone, our TV. So if we, for instance, wanted to pause, um, if I wanted to upset my wife or maybe she's hogging too much bandwidth, I could pause her phone and she could very well do the same on me, I guess. Um, and you know if I wanted to choose here where I could pick my kids devices put those in groups I could individually do those or make one large massive group for all my kids and press the pause button that's going to stop their internet service at that moment you can also see the throughput per device at the current moment what those devices are using and it's sorted in uh, sort ordered by all of those. You can get into each device, see what the manufacturer, see what signal strength is, bands, any of that, as well as name the device. You can also set up static leases for each of those devices if you want to. Lastly here is um, your WAN link check. And on your WAN link check, you can connect to your ISP and it goes through, when you press this button here, it's going to go through and check, okay, your WAN link's okay, your IP address is okay, your gateway, your DNS, and it also checks internet connectivity. So it checks out with um, an outside DNS provider and ensures that you can get to your outside network through your internet service provider. So the, another one of the awesome things is you can check out the help center directly right here in this application. You can connect with live support, their terms of service. You can log in and out. Also switch between various Amplify systems. Maybe you have a couple of these in your house or maybe you have uh, one you're servicing for say your parents and you have one at your house as well. You, this allows you to switch between those and then also remotely control that. So this remote access feature is enabled for my phone or for my system, which you tie in through your Google account. And um, I believe it also gives you the ability to check with your Facebook account and authenticate to that as well. So I really love the Amplify Home Mesh Router System because it, it provides you that ultimate flexibility on setup, ease of setup specifically, and also provides really awesome coverage across your house for all of your different devices out there. So if you want to know more about this, check it out in the description down below. Please also give me some comments, some feedback if you enjoyed watching this and want to see more about this or have any other additional questions about the Amplify system, please leave those in the comments section as well. Otherwise, please subscribe and stay tuned for some more interesting videos about this home mesh router system by Amplify and some other content that I have coming up here in the future. So anyhow, stay safe and we will catch you on the next video.